Hey guys, it's me, Spark City, in case you didn't know. Welcome. Had another really good stream today. We played with a new friend named Visions. Seems like a super nice guy. Um, we met, we played really well. It was we just, I focused on having a lot more fun today. Played some games of Hilltops as well. We played Rumble. Uh, almost GC and Rumble, not that it matters, but we got GC and Hoops and we got like pretty far into GC and Hoops. Like I think I'm ranked 14th on the leaderboard right now, which is pretty insane. We also got uh, GC back in twos. I'm now 1540. And um, what was I going to say about that? Got my rewards today too, so. Whew, now we can stop playing ranked for the rest of the season. Am I right, guys? Um, it was really good. So tomorrow... Again, 1 p.m. Dreamhack Valencia, super excited. Plus two and I are gonna kill it. Um, we're gonna have a great time. And then after that, <laughs> whenever that ends, excuse me, it'll be sub Saturday. So um, that should be fun too, of course. Playing with the homies is always a good time. Um, my voice is super shot from screaming all day. <coughs> oh yeah, I had, a, I had a, a topic to talk about today. Um, and it's the concept of hard reset, uh, and I'm going to apply this in a couple different ways. The first one is to Rocket League. Everybody likes to, you know, be all, oh, you know, we need a hard reset. Psionics, we need a hard reset because I'm in Diamond and I can't climb out of Diamond. And the reason is too many people got boosted to Champion and now they're keeping me out of Champion because I'm Diamond and that's where I want to go is Champion is my next, my next goal. So we need a hard reset so those, all those idiots don't get boosted again. And then we're good. And then I'll be fine. Then I'll be rightfully in my champ rank. Um, this is toxic for a number of reasons. Number one, you guys have heard me complain about it on stream. I've watched people who have asked for hard resets complain about this on Twitter. The beginning of seasons, because any kind of reset introduces a lot of chaotic movement in the rank ladder. So a soft reset in this case um, hits GCs really hard because, you know, I lost 350 MMR in the stock market crash of the end of season 10. You know what I mean? Like I, we lose all of our MMR cause you can't place back into GC. Um, it automatically cuts you down to like 1300, 1400, and then you have to win all your 10 promo games. And then you're like two games from GC. So you lose a lot if you're a grand champ. Whereas if you're in diamond or champion, you don't lose anything really. If you go five out of five on your five or five wins, five losses on your placements, you get placed pretty much reasonably where you're supposed to, where you were. Um, so it's toxic because it introduces a lot of instability to the rank ladder. It's a necessity. It's kind of one of those things where it's like you have to do it, you know, like <clears throat> it doesn't make sense to not have resets at some point and make you play those provisional games again. It's a good thing. It's a good um, deterrent against boosting. It's a good deterrent against a lot of things. It also, you know, it it's sort of it's a necessary evil pretty much. A hard reset would knock everyone down to about gold or silver MMR. So you'd be like, everybody would be 700 MMR. And you think the ranks are chaotic now. You think like the first three weeks of ranks are chaotic now. No, not at all. I've been around for a hard reset. Let me tell you, going from playing at a rank that I was comfortable at to playing at a rank where I don't know who's a gold and who's not actually a gold until I start the game. Like that's toxic. Like that sucks. The other thing is, the more important thing is, the reason this is toxic from like a mental standpoint and you need to get that out of your head if you are thinking that we need a hard reset for whatever reason, is because the logic behind it is, you know, I'm stuck in diamond or I'm stuck at whatever rank and I can't get to the next one up because, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of people in my rank who are boosted or whatever or are keeping me down. No. No, they're not. People who got to Grand Champ didn't get to Grand Champ because of luck. They didn't get to Grand Champ because... You know, they just got a good team. They got good teammates like five times in a row. No, not at all. Most of you guys who complain about that stuff are duo queuers anyway, or trio queuers anyway. You're not solo queuing. So, the idea of a hard reset, you know, like, let's just wipe it all clean. This time I'll get to champ. This time I'll get to champ. No, you won't. And you want to know how I came to this epiphany and the way you should come to this epiphany? I literally was texting my friend this morning and I was like, Holy shit, I slept so bad last night. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been sleeping well the last few days. I'm texting her. I'm like, I haven't been sleeping well. And she's like, oh man, like, you know, what are you going to do? And I was like, I think I just need like a hard reset on my sleep schedule. And I said hard reset unironically. Like I wasn't even thinking about Rocket League. And then it obviously triggered my PTSD because everyone's like, Duh! 
So I thought about it and I was like, no, I don't need a hard reset on my sleep schedule because I'm just going to let it drift into this bullshit it's in right now anyway. What I need to do is start waking the fuck up when I say I'm going to wake up and like actually have some willpower at like, you know, nine in the morning on a day that I, you know, I don't need to be up until like noon technically. So you don't need a hard reset. Your hard reset, wiping this slate clean, you didn't get to where you're at right now. You're not stuck at where you're at because, oh, if you had had another try, you always have tries. Just queue up again. In fact, it's easier to get to champ from where you are now or whatever your next rank is, unless you're like, you know, silver or gold. It's easier to get to your next rank now than it is if you were to hard reset. Because for the first probably four or five weeks of the season, that's, the ranks are going to be fucked. You're going to have fairy peak in gold for a day which is going to be hilarious. You know, you'd have you'd have all the pros just mashed down there. And they might lose a few games and it'll keep them from going up, but then they have to not only get out of gold, but then they have to get out of plat and diamond and champion and low grand champion and mid grand champion. They have to get back to the upper echelons. And they're fucking up all the matches in that entire ladder, right? So you can't just think of it as like, oh, I'll be fine. It's like, no, you won't. You're going to get punched in the face just like the rest of us, you know? You're going to go up for a ball and it's already in your net because the other players are so fast and they're just so much better than you are. So stop pining for a hard reset when that's not what you need. What you need is to realize that you are the only thing holding you back. It's either your gameplay, which for most of us, that's how it works. The reason you're not at a higher rank is because your gameplay isn't good enough to be there consistently. And yeah, yeah, when I play with my GC friends, no. If you can't solo queue it, this is this is my favorite thing to do. Somebody comes into the chat and they're like, oh, really? Oh, really? you know, high diamond, I'm almost champ. Oh, I'm champ one. And I can't get to champ two because my teammates hold me back. And then you're like, what's your ones rank? And they're like, platinum. And you're like, yeah. No teammates holding you back there, so you should be champ two in, in ones. Right? Like, that's how that should work. But no, nobody likes playing ones. Playing ones is very frustrating because... You have to face your own failure a lot of the time. You have to watch the ball roll into your net and realize the only thing that went wrong there was you messed something up. And that's what you have to realize. Ones is really good for that. It is a gut punch. It is an ego slap. It's, you know, it's it's a mentality explosion. Like, it's a whole bunch of things. You are going to go through the most uncomfortable, shitty, rage-inducing epiphanies of your life if you play a lot of ones. Because at some point you'll realize, fuck, that, that was me. All of this was me. Everything that I've messed up is me. A lot of the pros say this. Squishy Muffins has said this. Guys in different esports have said this. I I learned this from Doublelift, who's 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 um, North America's best AD carry in League of Legends, years ago when I was playing League, like three, four years ago at this point, four years ago, maybe five. And he said, if you die, or in Rocket League's case, if you get scored on, 99% of the time, there's something that you could have done to improve the play and not be in that situation. Whether that's, you know, getting that good touch in your opponent's corner as opposed to just slamming it off the wall and right back towards your end or and leaving your teammate in a shitty 50-50. Or maybe you had a tough shot, but you missed it. You still missed that shot. You could have scored. You could have made a better touch. You could have gotten a clear. You could have gone for a demo. You could have thought differently about, about the play, but you didn't. And that is what's holding you back. It's not it's not all the all the boosted players around your rank. It's none of that nonsense. It's not needing a hard reset on your on your life. Take a moment. Think for a second that maybe you're not at a rank because you don't deserve to be there. And then when you think about it that way and you sort of swallow that pill and you have that humility for a second, you'll notice all the things you can improve on in your own game. Just just by yourself. That you don't need anybody else to tell you to do. It's very important. I'm ranting, and it's good. I like I like this because I think a lot of people need to hear this. Unfortunately, the only people who are going to watch this are going to be my subscribers who have heard me say this dozens of times. But who knows? Maybe it'll help you. You can do it. So the way that I the way that I climbed, I solo queued all the way to 1750 MMR, GC. Um, so if you wanted if you want to do a metric i i never do or trio queued i always solo queued i got grand champion in ones three seasons in a row now i got it before the cutoff dropped as well um i was almost top 100 a few times in in ones i've beaten top 100 players i've beaten pros in ones i've beaten pros in in all facets of the game so i've also been beaten by pros a lot 
I don't mean to come out here and being like, I'm the best player. Secretly, I'm way better than all the pros. Omega lol, why aren't I famous? Um, but the important thing is, once you swallow that pill and you realize that you are what's holding you back, and there are lapses in your game that are holding you back, the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll climb. Alright? So remember that. Good talk. Um, I felt like I had something I wanted to add to that, but I sort of talked myself into a corner, and I forget it now. Oh well, we'll just cut it off there. I'm, uh, we'll see if I think of it during the outro. Use Fortnite creator code SparkCity, Spark-City in the item shop if you want to support the channel. Oh yeah, I guess I just wanted to follow up on the, on the pill to swallow thing. When you, when you finally take that dose of, of confidence medicine and it just destroys you because that's what it does. Um, when you come at the game with some humility, you'll understand how to climb a lot better. You'll, you'll feel like you're able to make progress more consistently. You'll feel like those plateaus that you feel where you feel like you're, you've hit a ceiling and you can't get better. Those will become shorter and shorter time periods. Um, you can also ask for coaching from me if you want. Or from anybody. Anybody's, anybody who's, who's a professional coach or a professional player who likes to coach. Ask any of us. Because, you know, you might have to pay for the lesson. But, hey, it might be worth it. You know, it might be a nice mentality shift for you. Um, but yeah, that's the important thing. Um, if you feel like you're stuck and you can't take your game to the next level, analyze your own replays, go through them. But if you still can't, then ask for help. I'm, I'm a strong advocate of push yourself, push yourself as hard as you can to your own limits before you ask for help for somebody else, because you can improve by yourself. We can all figure it out. I'm not lucky. I didn't, I didn't just randomly guess how to improve. I messed up a lot and because I was streaming, it was nice because I was streaming, but you can save replays. So it's the same thing. It was nice when I was streaming because when I'd watch back footage of myself, I'd be like, oh yeah, like this is where I'm messing up. Or I'd watch pro gameplay and be like, oh, this looks different to how I would have played this situation. Like, why are they doing that? I wonder. And you think about it, you put thought into it. Mechanics, you can grind in free play. Everybody knows that. That's a, that's a PVE thing. PVP, rotations, stuff like that. You just do it by playing. You can watch, watch our LCS, stuff like that. But you gotta put the time in, and you gotta put the effort in. You can't sit there waiting for Sionics to just gift you champ, or gift you grand champ, or gift you diamond, or whatever, just because you think you deserve to be there, based on the fact that when you've played there before, you've done fine. It's like poker. Long term, poker is not a luck game. Obviously every hand is luck, there are bad beats, there are good, there are very lucky things where you're just like, oh shit, I hit that on the river, and wow, look at that, I won the whole hand. I had like a, I had like a two out of it to, to win, and I won it. Sometimes that happens. You know, but long term, ask any poker pro. It is a gambling game, but long term, it is not luck. It is skill, and it's the same thing with grinding rank ladders. It's the same thing with all that stuff. Any kind of improvement, you can have bad games. You can have teammates who AFK. I literally, you can watch the vod yesterday from my stream at the end of it. I had three AFK. Well, no, excuse me. We lost one, but he AFK sort of towards the end after I didn't forfeit because he wanted to forfeit. One guy, we went down two goals in 20 seconds, and he instantly hard left the game, like gone. Third guy was just toxic the entire time and owned gold three different times be, to be toxic and be cool. Three times in a row, three games in a row. It happens. I got GC today. I gained 60 MMR from that, that place. It happens. Long term, it's not luck. It's your own skill level limiting you, and the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll climb. I'll stop beating this dead horse now. You guys have a good day. Again, use Fortnite creator code spark-city in the item shop. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.